Hey, welcome to part 2 of my Kazuya series. Today we'll be talking about generic tools. These are tools that most characters share and most characters differ in some regard to those moves. And we'll be going over Kazuya and how he fares and what moves are really generic and what moves are worse or just don't exist for him. Let's start out with his 10 frame punishment. So he has excellent 10 frame punishment with the flash punch combo here. Mishima 112, all Mishimas have access to this. He can also use 122 to get plus frames. And so, great 10 frame punishment. Let's go over to the next topic. What's his fastest wall split move? Most characters typically have a 12 frame, whilst, um, a 12 frame wall split punish. Kazuya excels here because he's great at punishment. He has a 11 frame wall, wall split move. Cool. Great damage. I made a video about actually using your 12 frame punish and I w just want to stress again if you're at the wall and you block a move that is minus 12 or in regards to Mr. Kazuya here minus 11 don't use your 10 frame punish use your 12 frame punish your wall splash punish because you get so much more damage if you don't fuck it up like I just did but you get the picture Okay, what is his quickest launcher for punishment? Most characters have a 15 frame launcher. Kazuya has access to an electric wind god fist, which is a 14 frames plus some block high launcher. So it's one frame faster than usual. But Kazuya actually has access to a shortcut version of this called a perfect electric wind god fist. What does it mean? I'm just trying to replicate the input. It's a bit hard. Okay. Here we have it. So a general, a usual um, electric wind god fist looks like this here. A forward, a neutral, a down, and a down forward, and at the same time you press 2. This is a 14 frames electric. But if you skip the neutral like here, forward, down, down forward with no neutral, it's one frame faster and only Cassio has access to this. So he has a 13 frame standing launcher in theory, but it's really hard to pull off. If we ignore the electric, what's his fastest launcher from there? Basically nothing. He has a couple of launchers, sure, but those are really slow and you can't really use them to punish anything. So your best alternative will be using down forward 1, 2, a guaranteed forward, forward 4. So if you don't know how to electric, this will be your 15 frame punish substitute. Let's go through his while standing punishment. He has an excellent 11 frame punish with a well standing 4 4. That's really great. And he has a 15 frame launcher in while standing 2. If I don't fuck up the category. But, and this is great, Kazuya has an excellent 13 frame punish. He has a 13 frame launcher. Just to show you guys. So, this move here is minus. 13. Most characters will get something like this here. But Cassia has a 13 frame launcher, so he gets a full combo against such a move. That's really great, that's way above average. Only a few other characters have a 13 frame launcher, like Josie for example, or Eddie. So having a 13 frame launcher is a huge bonus for Cassia, and it really shows that he's a master of punishment, with his 11 frame wall split and 13 frame while standing launcher. Just bear in mind, as you can see, it has really short range, so sometimes it whiffs. Okay, let's go through his down forward one. And here is a huge problem with Kazuya, one of his biggest weaknesses. Most characters have a 13 frame down forward one, which is a bit minus on block. Kazuya has a 15 frame down forward one, so he has to rely on other moves for a mid checkup. His most used substitutes would include down forward 2 and while standing, I mean down forward 4 and while standing 4. In low ranks you can use back, back uh, 2, back to 4 with the mix ups. You can also use this in high ranks of course, but at high ranks you have to play more mind games here, because most people will duck this if you repeat it too often. So 
his 15th frame, his mid poking tool, his down throw run, is really weak and one of the biggest weaknesses. Just bear that in mind, with Kazuya you should use down throw with 4 or wild swing 4 instead. Down throw with 2. Most characters have a launching down throw with 2. But some characters, like Kazuya or Jin here, don't share this. Kazuya has a down throw with 2 archetype, which is a launching counter hit down throw with 2, which is a safe on block mid that's a counter hit launcher. This is also homing and 14 frames, so it's one of his best tools in general, but it's not a typical launcher like most characters have. Does Kazuya have a hop kick? No, he does not have. Most characters share this. They have a hop kick like so, which is great for panicking and for getting good combos here. But Kazuya doesn't have one. What he instead has is this here. This is okay. Can be used to low crush. It's a wall split at the wall for a good wall split combo here. And if you really YOLO, and this is just as a joke, you can use the helicopter here, which is actually a launcher if you just do the first two hits. But never use this, this is a terrible string, everybody will duck it. So you have this here instead. So no hop kick for Kazuya. Or should I say Swaguya, as you can see. Panic buttons. What panic buttons does Kazuya have? First off, what is a panic button? It's a m panic move that you use when you're not sure what to do, when you're just, when you're at the wall, you're getting pressured, you want to get out of it, what are your panic buttons? Sadly, Kazuya does not really possess any panic buttons, except for a dick jab. So this will be your get out of jail free card, the best thing you will have. You, you could say that his down forward 2 is a panic button, but it's 14 frames, it doesn't crush anything, so... I wouldn't really call this one a panic button, but he has access to the greatest panic button of all times if he's in rage, which is rage drive, which is a great panic button. It crushes a lot, it's really fast, if it gets blocked you're on plus 100 or something like that, so this is his best panic move, but he has only access to it when he's in rage. Armor moves. Yeah, Kazuya has access to a mid power crush here, which also wall splits. That's great. So, yeah, he has a power crush. His power crush is useless. Good to have. Wall bounce move. I think, as far as I remember, his wall bounce is something like. Uh, yeah, this, here. this should be his wall bounce. I mean, it's not 100% useless, but it's one of the less powerful wall bounce moves, and you will rarely use this move here. But he has one, it's not 100% terrible, but not really a good wall bounce, you will most likely never use it. I've already covered his rage drive a bit, but what rage drive does he have? He has this mid rage drive which is really good on hit and transforms him into his devil mode. By the way, he can also manually transfer. On block, his rage drive is really good. And it leaves your opponent at heavy minus frames, so you can apply mix-ups here. Welcome to Mix-Up City! On hit, you can transform the devil himself. And what makes this Rage Drift really good is that it's great in combos. I will just show you a regular combo with Kazuya, okay? Just bear in mind, Rage is on, so damage is a bit boosted here. Let me see. This would be a regular combo without Rage. Let's just go through this combo without Rage, just so you understand. I will just do a staple combo, okay? This would be a staple, if you want to spice it up you can add stuff like this here, for a bit more damage. But let's just look at what he's capable of when he has rage. Okay. 
It's a bit hard to pull off. Great damage. His rage trap is really good in combos. That's make what makes her really strong. And you can use this in such creative ways. You can do something like this here. Or you can use it as a combo ender to get into damage. Great overall. Also, in the topic of Rage Drive, you can trans transition to Devil and you get access to great new moves. But you will be robbed of a couple of generic stuff. Like you don't have your you don't have your downfall one four for screwing anymore. Instead you get a twin piston standing launcher here. Which is cool in its own way, but you will have to use 2-2 two, two to screw in this state. So you have to consider this when doing combos. Yeah, let's go over his throws. Uh, sadly, Kazuya doesn't have a full throw mix-up. So he has no breaks for 1 and 2. But he has a 1 plus 2 break. And he has even a second 1 plus 2 break and full crouch down forward. 2. 1 plus 2 here. Which switches sides and you can also use it in mid uh, wave dash. If you don't fuck it up like I just did. Too. Wait. Yes. It's really not that hard. It just looks hard because I'm recording for YouTube. And whenever you're recording for YouTube, nothing works as intended. But this is not really hard. You can do it very easily out of wave deck. Same with the other 1 plus 2 break. So he has good 1 plus 2 breaks and his, one, his forward forward 1 plus 2, even wall splits. Great overall, but sadly no full throw mix up for him. What about his parry? Um, Cassia doesn't really have a good parry or any parry whatsoever, so you have to come out without it. So again, Dick Trap is your best friend. No parry for you. Homing moves. What homing moves does Kazuya have? And this is really important for Mr. Kazuya because he's so good with 50-50 that they had to balance it in some way and they balanced it by giving him really bad tracking. Let's just show it. So his weak side is sidestep left. Sidewalk left. Wait. Every time you want to show something. Yeah, as you can see. His whole 50-50 is stable to this side, most of his moves don't track to this side. So you have to apply homing moves. What homing moves does he have? He has down forward 2, which is a great homing move. And it's a counter hit launcher for great damage here. Please don't step. So it's a counter hit launcher, you get great damage out of it, especially if you do counter hit perfect electric. Yeah, like this. I totally get this every time, I'm the best player. But the problem with this move is it's unsafe on block. So you can't just spam it all the time if your opponent knows how to punish it. So once your opponent starts punishing this great move, what other options do you have? Back 4. But it's a duckable high and highs are always more dangerously with it's more dangerous to use with Mishimas because you have so many great highs and lows that people are inclined to duck more often. So every high that you add to your game plan risks you to get ducked. So what can you use instead? While standing free. Great. This is really good to use out of a wave dash to stop people from sidestepping your mix-up. So once people 
punish you for this all the time, you have to mix it up with back four and while standing four. Okay, long range moves. What good long range moves does Kazuya have? What can you use to poke people from afar? He has a forward free, which is his peacekeeper. Really nice move. Keep in mind, this here is actually unsafe. And a couple of characters can punish you for this. So this here is unsafe, but to put to put it into practicality, no one will ever punish you for this, but they could, and I'm sure there will be players out there who will punish this. But in 9 out of 10 times, nobody knows how to punish this move, or that this move is even unsafe on hit. I mean on block. So this is great. What else does he have? He has sidestep free, which gives you a good um, combo. I just forgot how. I'm just an idiot. Um, yes, like this. Yeah, you get a mini chuckle like this here. If you don't fuck it up like I do. Basically you saw it, you get a mini juggle here, uh, also I think you can electric after this here, so in general an encounter hit here, it's the same, oh yes, here you get a mini juggle, I forgot to mention that, so forward 4, forward 3 on counter hit gives a mini juggle. To whiff punish from afar you can use forward forward move too. This is also your death fist punish. I wouldn't use it for poking but you can sometimes try to catch people off guard with this in long range. And apart from that Kelsey doesn't really have anything special for long range but he has access to the wave dash. So you can apply a couple of short range moves in a long range fashion like for example the electric and god fist or while standing for as a poke. And this covers his generic tools, and I hope you learned something, and it was fun for you, and see you in the next vid. Bye!